Hello YouTube, Mr. Fox. Um, Final Cut tutorial here. Um, like I said, I plan to do every Premiere Pro tutorial I do in Final Cut as well, and vice versa. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at sending to motion. And the reason we're going to be sending a clip to motion today is because we want to stabilize a shot. Now, the shot we're going to be stabilizing is this shot. You watch, it's, it moves up and down a bit. It's quite short, but we want it to be stationary. Um, now, for the demonstration purposes, we're going to use the raw plate. So, bring this clip out. You can see it's much brighter, um, and also it goes on for a bit longer. Great. And we, we can even extend it out. Gee, no, let's not. We're going to right click and press center motion project. It's going to give us a few options here. What do we want to save it as? We're going to save it as Josh running 02. Make sure it's saved now in the correct folder. And we want to embed motion content. So it's going to load up motion pretty quick. Now we're inside of motion, and we can see that the shot does move around a bit, but we don't want it to move around at all. So, what we're going to do, grab it, select our footage by just clicking on it. We're going to add behavior, motion tracking, stabilize. Then when we go to our expect, ex, inspector panel up here, um, we don't need to set any tracking points you can do and um, however I know that certain things will get overlapped all this and all that um, and I don't actually need to so I'm going to choose the rotation as well because I want to make sure it stops rotation as well where it says borders you want to change that to zoom um, basically when it stabilizes the shot obviously there's going to be gaps missing as the shot as the footage moves around, moves around. so shake um, motion is going to stabilize stabilize the shot and then make sure it fills the whole um, plate quality um, we're going to set it to faster for now because we don't need it too good and then if there's problems then you can set it to better which is always something I recommend doing to save yourself time and as you can see very quickly we've got a new shot green 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 which is very much stable green Green. Green. Beautiful. And if we just press, um, if we just save it, Command S to save, go back into Final Cut. You can see that it's gone red above, which means it needs to render. So if I just select my shot on, press Command R, which is going to render our shot. Now we can Green. play it back, and you can see it's nice and stable. So I'm just going to do the same thing to my actual shot. Which is this one here. Right click, send to motion project. So, just to remind you, select the footage, motion checking, stabilize. And say you wanted to keep the motion, say there was a particular motion, maybe you're panning. Um, or dollying, then you can you want to change change it from stabilized to smooth, which is going to smooth out the shot. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate smooth, which will keep some motion. When you're using smooth, I would always keep it to better. We don't need to add any trackers. We're just going to choose analyze. That's going to take a little bit longer. Not too much longer. It's only 54 frame shot. You can see that up here. You can see that it keeps some movement. Now, if we just set the borders to zoom, then that's going to fill the whole area. So it keeps some movement. If you keep an eye on this brick wall, you can see that the brick wall does move, but it's now a lot smoother. And the lines around the outside, you can see how much movement there actually was in the shot, which is quite terrifying sometimes. 
well, not really that terrifying, but you know what I mean. Now we're just going to apply our color correction. Just going to choose the shot to the right hand side, go to filters, copy that color correction, command C, double click on this shot um, footage, and paste it. I might want to make some fine adjustments just to make sure because you know every shot is different. Just like that. And I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna save my work like with Command S, and then render it. Then when we play this back. You can see it makes a nice nice difference. Now the importance of this may not be obvious um, to begin with, however, overall it makes it, it gives a much profession much better professional look. And um, for instance this shot was originally pretty shaky, but if you see now it's actually very smooth. Which looks far more professional. So thank you for watching, that was Sending to Motion, and we also learned how to stabilise footage. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.